Hi there guys and girls, and welcome to another render review. Uh, as promised, we'll be doing a Mortal Kombat character this time, and it's Jax. Um, i got a lot to say about Jax, I think. Um, the first thing I'll say is... Uh, he... This doesn't look like Jax that we've seen from other MK games. Like, his facial features are so radically different in this image that it looks like, I don't know, Jax's brother or something, you know, <laughs> it doesn't really, a lot of people were like, his face looks weird and stuff when this came out, um, I don't think it's an issue though, you know, he's still Jax, right, but um, yeah, you know, if you've played all the games and then you look at this, he, he sort of looks different. The arms on, the metal arms on this, on Jax, um, don't appeal to me, I don't know, there's something funny about him. Um, the hands look too small or something, and then like, you know, the parts that go around like the forearm and the upper arm, like they look like a lot bigger. It looks strange, I don't know, like, uh, it just doesn't, yeah. Um, I'm sort of over the metal arms too, which probably doesn't make my liking of these metal arms, you know, or my dislike of these metal arms, you know, um, it probably amplifies that because, you know, um, I like Jax in Mortal Kombat 2 the most. I thought, oh, you know, this is just this hardcore black guy, man. You know, like one of those big guys is just going to, you know, kick your ass, you know. I, I thought he, I liked that image of him, you know. And then, like, when like when he had the metal arms in MK3, I'm like, oh, well, that's sort of cool. He's sort of, like, going to the next level. And I'm all about character evolution, like I said in the Liu Kang video. But I don't know. Like, I sort of got sick of it, the, the metal arms. Like, in, you know, in MK3, they, he morphed him into knives and is a fatality in that. And I think, like, I like that fatality a lot. But then, like, later on, I thought, oh, I don't know, that's kind of stupid, you know. Like, how can an arm just turn into a knife? Like, it would make more sense if, um, I don't know, if something sharp came out of the arm. Like, a blade or something. I don't know. But, um, I think it's time for Jax to lose the metal arms and actually take a step backwards and go more towards MK2 style. I mean, because he still looks tough, man. But why does he need these metal arms to be tough? Like, I don't know. Like, I like... I, in M He had the best moves in MK2. He had that gotcha grab. You know, gotcha. And, um... Oh, the, the backbreaker move, man. Like, oh... That's one of the my favorite moves in Mortal Kombat 2. In, in when I was playing two players, you know. And y you were getting, um jump kicked, you know, because it's all about the fly kick, but, um, yeah, like, you know, your friend would have a, a like, his fly kick would be on a better angle, or his character would have a better, a better fly kick for the angle he was on, you know, but if you're up against Jax, oh, man, you couldn't fuck around, all you had to do was jump towards him and hit block, and that was it, mate, gotcha, and snap their back, it was one of the best moves in MK history, um, so, yeah, like, I liked, I liked him a lot more when he didn't have the metal arms. That being said, uh, let's move along, because <laughs> I think I just talked for like four minutes about his arms or something. Um, the background is the hangar base, which we've seen uh, on the official website. If you haven't seen it, you can see it there. You can see all these renders on the official website, by the way, if you haven't downloaded them. Um, yeah, and you can also see the backgrounds. So yeah, he's in the hangar base, um, which is good. You know, it the the background doesn't show too much detail, but it shows, you know, that it's like some sort of I don't know, it looks like some sort of base, so from the from the left side of the background image. He's got the dog tags like Sonya. Uh he's got the badge. Uh let me just zoom in on that. Hang on a second. I wanna look at that at a hundred percent. Now he, his badge says special forces on it, which is pretty cool. Um Sonya's badge is different. I don't know. Um, oh, actually, hang on a second. He's got two badges. Oh, I guess you'd call that a patch. I'm talking about the patch on his vest. It says Special Forces. Then he's got, like, the badge on his belt, which is the same as Sonya's. Um, yeah. Other than that, yeah, he's got, you know, generic armor and and everything. So, I think Jax will be fun to play as, but we haven't really seen much of him in gameplay videos. So, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, but... I'd like to see Jax, if he comes back in Mortal Kombat 8, lose the metal arms. You know, even have it in the intro or something that he takes some sort of, I don't know, some sort of hit. 
I, I sort of liked it as bad as Annihilation was. Uh, I thought it was cool when he pulled off the metal arms and then kicked Motaro's ass. I thought that was pretty sweet. Um, yeah, I'd like to see that happen in the game. So thanks for watching, and more render reviews coming up soon.